Hi, so welcome back to Electric Rocks Resistance 2024, and I've got a very surprising um, guest now. <laughs> I've got uh, John for all the emptiness, and we even have uh, Deviant now as well, as well as, of course, Matt Hart and, and mm -hmm. some extra crew. So, for those who haven't sort of heard about you or what you do, surprisingly, tell them a little bit about who you are, what you do. Who am I? Uh, so, I am from Canada. I've been doing music for or this particular project since maybe 2011. Uh, my first tour was in, was in 2012, and that's sort of why I, uh, he, he has a lot of fun stories about <laughs> me, and, and he's seen how I changed, so I thought it would be a good idea to bring him in, because I have the worst perspective. I, <laughs> um, the music generally that I do is about, um, well, it started with very anti-religion stuff. I, I like to put in a lot of thoughts of logic, and slowly uh, developed into, uh, various emotions that I really don't have any other way of expressing. So that's why a lot of them are a little darker, but then I have some happier songs. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not, yeah, I think, I think that's probably a, a good start. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, as you said, you know, you've, yeah. you've been known for, for a while by your friends there, so like, how different is your mm. music now from when you first started doing it? Production itself, it's improved because I've been working with Sebastian Komar a lot, but um, they would definitely be able to see immediately how things have changed because they have, they have uh, a better perspective on it. H how has it changed? So I would say, um, in terms of the production, it's, it's a lot heavier, okay. it's a lot more full, and Jonathan's voice has always been exceptional. Mm, thank you. But tonight, as an example, was, it was just incredible, the ranges. Thank puts everybody else to shame <laughs> it's almost like a greatest showman version of industrial which is phenomenal that's a very good way of it that's so nice i really mm -hmm. love it okay and um you know what made moment made you realize that you actually wanted to do this and make this music there's a specific thing that happened was a, a long time ago apop released uh apbl i think 98 it came with a, a video um and what happened was he was standing on stage singing and then the fight broke out and it was just strange and then started yelling this is not what it's all about that was the moment was it that was absolutely the moment and then he started talking to them they stopped the music they broke up the fight and then they hugged each other nice and and then he yelled out this is what it's all about and that's absolutely the moment i'm like this is uh this is something that could help me and i want to do this whoops sorry I want to kind of do this stuff with others. Uh, and it was really important. This, this guy Shit. is genuinely one of the most <laughs> honest He's beautiful. and genuine and <laughs> amicable <laughs> and talented people I've ever, I've ever worked with. He's Canadian. We love That's true. We I mean, love but, but in all we seriousness, we, yeah, we, we toured America with him in 2012. <clears throat> and he's just such a wonderful individual. And despite all the talent and put all that aside to one for one minute, He's a real, mm -hmm. really genuine, wonderful human, and that's that's a rarity, right? And yeah. um, and we love him. Yeah. So that carries on to like I really want to surround myself with everyone <laughs> who's incredibly talented, incredibly nice. That's that's why I, I, I try and oh, bug Jay everyone to be around me. Yeah, yeah, you I deserve do. it. <laughs> uh, Matt, no, Matt is amazing. I met him in Portland, and I can't stop talking about him uh, and and trying to do things with him. Um, I don't know. I, I bug you as often as I can. Oh, I'm so happy you could. Thank great. you so much. And yeah. you did great. Quite an extra bad though. Yeah. Quite oh, that's that's wonderful. Took us to the car. A little bit. Yeah. That's my so vibe. that yeah. from that thing that first started it all off, it's how I do things even now. I just want the. Uh, I mean, really, want how that same feeling. Off was, I'm sitting around waiting for you to build those drums, and, <coughs> and uh, I was waiting and waiting. You still building those drums? Yeah. Still, still sound checking those drums? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take the twenty minute sound check, but we, it was a great show and it was, it was awesome to meet you at that time. And you know, oh, from, from Portland. From, from Portland, yeah. Oh, I have an interesting drum set that I um, kind of like designed and put the together. <laughs> the, there were the ones on stage today, for example, but uh, we also had lights and stuff on them when I did Portland. I uh, I do a lot of hardware by myself. This is a man, uh, by I, the way, who once bought one one hundred oh. White Castle burgers. <laughs> 
<laughs> he loves talking about the burgers. One hundred white castle burgers yeah, because on, on the tour bus the gossip were, were, were imploding. Yeah. yeah. And, and to resolve the problem, Jonathan bought one hundred okay. burgers. It was ten years ago. <laughs> he came off the stage with a bag of one hundred burgers and said. Does anybody want a burger? And it, for a short period of time. To be fair, they lasted us a good quarter of the tour. Yeah. <laughs> well, they all had. We beat them up in the microwave. They, they, they had lasted. A, we were all really down and everything, so I thought. What was your burgers? Yes, that was the problem. You guys had a fun food fight, I mean, and you're still talking about I, it. I'm still talking about it. So I'm, that's I'm still, amazing. I'm still lamenting the what the oh. white castle. I'd love one right now. Right now I didn't have any. That's a shame. <laughs> I brought them, <laughs> and I did have a. I'm asking to bring somebody in. Oh. I think where you started saying, you know, where this came from yep. and the feeling and the emotion behind yeah. why you make the music and what you just said there pretty yep. much leads into the next question of, you know, yeah. what are your favourite things about the alternative scene? Well, so specifically, I'm going to talk about then resistance. Uh, the first day I came in, uh, I was sitting at the hotel and then I saw people who, who slowly came into the, um, the, the restaurant. Everyone came in, hugged each other. They were so happy to see each other, and that was amazing. Uh, back in 2000 or something, if you were a goth, you're not allowed to be happy, I felt. <laughs> and here, now it's the best part. Goths being happy and being nice to each other is amazing. That's the best part. Really good answer. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to learn how to interview from him. He's, he's <laughs> that's not any good answer, it's probably from him. Just smile away, boy. Just smile mm -hmm. away. <laughs> Alright, and which three bands, <laughs> you know, if you were to put on your own show, or oh. which three bands yeah. would no you pressure. choose no, for your I, I chose this question specifically so I could say Deviant UK, <laughs> and, and uh, I, just, just I would be on it. Just Deviant now. Oh, really? Yeah, just Deviant now. So Deviant UK, yeah, because Deviant. I, I, no, I prefer the old stuff. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to make a joke, and I, I think Deviant I did Brexit. it. Yeah, Deviant Brexit. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, so just Deviant. That, that's why I'm here for this interview, by the way, just for that, that moment. Right. Um... I, I, who was the other one? Homecoming. Oh, and yeah. Matt Hart. <laughs> there, three. Three the wonderful. <laughs> I said Matt Hart. Matt Hart? I would you love see, to see, do show, a big show, show with us. So this guy is ubiquitous in the UK That's scene. Huge. And I, no, I, my I, bad. I, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, he's going to play. Oh, I should do a, thir uh, a fourth, I guess. Oh. No, I've never met him before. I've, I've heard. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, yes. People I know all go, always go on about him. It's annoying. People go on about both of you. <laughs> You, you, you are both <laughs> incredibly loved, and that's why I love being around you I'm, guys. I'm, I just want to put out, I'm quite, I'm a slot, slot, quite a lot more love than he is. <gasps> oh, come on. Now so you're being he, ridiculous. He, 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 he's he's, he's um, playing catch up. He, I mean, he, he is a very popular guy, but. Yeah. I, I, oh, so you just say, just pick a third quickly. A the, yeah. Just pick a third, Jonathan, quickly. Uh, yeah. Computer girl. Yeah, we go. Sorry. Computer girl. There. Yeah. I, I, I like him. I like him already. I'm, I'm, I'm fond of him. I like. I like his yeah, boxing. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, com anyone who's uh, who's really nice and gets to be here and and uh, spends time with me, those are the I would love to do with the show with those people. Shall we tour again? I'd love to. I'd love I to. Think we should. We should. Think you sure. know who we should invite as the booking Not agent? Not the gossip calls. No, Nick, no. Nicky. Is it Nicky? I, I was saying, yes. But anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, no. We, 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 we have a lot of stories from 2012. We have a special event about a 2012 tour, obviously. Oh, my goodness. Yes. You have a special thing coming. Only, only if I can guess vocal. You can guess what vocal you want, my darling. And can you tell me <laughs> about a memorable encounter that's really stuck with you? Like, the one mm. stuck with you the whole time you've been through? No, so even today, um, uh, Leighton, the, the promoter, he came up to me and he said, um, there's someone who wasn't able to attend today because she's going through chemo. Uh, and it was really, really sad. And she did a, I think it was a video on Facebook, which I wasn't able to see. And she comes to Resistance all the time. She couldn't come to this one. Uh, and she wanted to see two bands, and mine was one of them. Wow. Wow. Uh, so all of the, they asked me to do was sign a, a, a Get Well Soon card or whatever, but um, that was huge, and that just happened um, today. So, uh, and I'll remember that forever. That is very nice. Yeah. Puts on perspective, doesn't it? Absolutely. And so when it comes to memories, when it comes to lyrics by another artist, has okay. there ever been a particular lyric line that stuck with you as well? Um, I don't take parts of songs uh, as something that usually sticks with me, it's the, the entire song or entire theme, but uh, I'm a big fan of V and V Nation and his lyrics. 
Um, I've got to tell you, Jonathan, you're better than Vivian Nathan. Thank you. You're being don't, silly. Don't say that in the middle you of are. Saying you are. I mean, he is, but there you know, he is. <laughs> His voice is significantly better, but he's just answering a question. Yeah, usually one of my favorite bands. Um, I've listened to them for so long. First time I saw them was when they opened for A-pop. Uh, but his lyrics, uh, I absolutely adored. Um, so I, I, if I can just say um, specifically the band rather than a particular line, because I can't think of a, a line that really does very much to me. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, he's I always tell <laughs> No, it it's it's. It Barbara. would be the whole song. <laughs> okay. And if you could ask any artist, living or dead, mm. um, just one question, what would it be? If I could ask one question to a living or dead artist, um, I would probably ask about uh, things that Genesis Peoridge did because his, uh, the, sorry, their struggle was was something I could never, I never had to deal with. I, I want to know uh, all of the different things that they went through because um, it, it was really tough. And because of them, we have things that are so much easier. So it would probably be around there, but I don't know this particular question, but it would be something this concerning one. that, yeah. Okay. And so just a few more then. So let's say the holodecks were real. Uh oh. Hold on, hold on, that. One hour? I said the next generation. Yeah. Nine. So you got an hour for mm -hmm. seven days so to do whatever the hell you wanted. Keep it safe for work. What would you do? I don't know. The answer's not going to be keep it safe for work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say they can't do that on them. Oh, what else is there to do? Can't have Troy, by the way. I can't have Troy. Troy. White Castle. It's got to be the White Castle bag, isn't it? No. No. Um, is, it seven, is it seven or nine? <laughs> Why does it have to be a Star Trek person? Well, it's on the holodeck. Yeah, but I can choose anyone uh, and, and do a scene that's... But not say for... I don't know. There's nothing in particular that I would want to do. Uh, that's not... If you see my music videos, yeah, even the latest one, you'll see I, I'm, I'm pretty that's, not that, safe for work. That's the holodeck. Yeah. I, 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 I have a... I enjoy not safe for work things a little bit too much, I guess. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't think of anything I he would do on a holiday. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and what is the weirdest thing you've ever put Don't on your rider and actually got? Sorry, what was Don't that? What is the weirdest thing you've ever put on your rider and actually received? Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, so um, it wasn't on the rider, but what happened was uh, here at Resistance, the promoter made a mistake and said, I'll get you whatever you want, I'll give it to you. So I said, okay, I would like a poster of the king. Uh, and he I said, did. I'm kidding, you don't have to. Uh, he ended up printing a poster of the king of England. Well, no, he printed a piece of paper. So I went up to him, uh, Leighton, and said, you know, that's not a poster. I asked for a poster. <laughs> um, but it's all in fun. And that... Uh, that's sort of the weirdest thing I ever put on. It is on the wall in the dressing room. It is on the wall. We yeah. can show it to you, yeah. Oh, it, it was really funny of him to do it. He's a big fan of the Save the King before we on He's a big fan of the Royal Family. I don't know why. Which, which one? There's only one. Oh. Well? <laughs> <laughs> and if one of your tracks was chosen to um, express to extraterrestrials something, <laughs> what song would you choose and what would you be mm. trying to express? Uh oh. Mm, let's see, do I go safe or really penance? Yeah, mm, that is so old. Um, it would likely be something, one of the songs to do with uh, uh, with, with anti religion. Um, I don't know which song I would give. I'd have to think about that, I'd have to go through the list of songs that I did. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, I'll say no words of power, just because there's a few things in it there that uh, I, I like to reach out to people with. That, that would that would probably be a good one. Okay. Yeah. And then lastly, do you have anything you'd like to say to your fans? Oh, thank you for... Um, first of all, if you ever see me at a show, please say hello to me. It, it, it's... it's uh, I often get people telling me I wish I could see you or, and, and say hi to you. I mean, I saw you at a show, I, I wish I said hi to you. Um, please say hi to me uh, at any time. That's, that, that's something that would really be nice. 
um, slowly people are starting to say, I mean, I, I, I know I look unapproachable, but I absolutely love it. Well, that's why I have Jonathan, people around Jonathan, me who Jonathan, are approachable. You, you don't look unapproachable. <laughs> oh, well, when I'm sitting alone being sad. No. Do you want to sit down looking sad? Uh, I, I, I look like sometimes like uh, I'm very difficult to approach when I'm alone. But I really love it when people talk to me. Um, because I cannot make the first um, move. move yeah, at all. I'm terrible at that. All right, well, thank you, oh. all of you, so much for joining us. Yeah, I'd Matt Hart for, <laughs> yeah, he, he would, he was really, he's in everything right now, first of all. Um, and he did such a great job, and yeah, I say, really say appreciate that. Ubiquitous. I'm not. Just say that word. <laughs> say he's ubiquitous. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank Dennis. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you always said ubiquitous. I don't think it's about to. But that's a ubiquitous yeah. sound. Yeah. Yeah. Computer girl. I, I I have been a fan for so many years. I was uh, I wrote a song with Sebastian Komar, um, and he asked me what kind of uh, voice I want on it, and I said, you know that song, situations like these. If I could find someone who sings like that, I really would love it. And and then he said, why don't you just contact her? And we did, and she agreed, and it was amazing. Um, and so thank you for coming. It was amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, I'd like to thank Andreas, who's been drumming for me. And, um, like, I met him at uh, Treffen last year, and he's just been amazing. And he's been working hard, and it's been great. Um, I'll even check, thank uh, Jay and Cheryl for coming. No, you just we exist. Told you, the fact that you guys are around me it really helps out because I, I can't talk alone. So if he's, he's I, a, I, I want to be around human. people who are. Uh, he really is a wonderful human. Thank you. So that, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for talking to me. And oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. asking. Thank, thank you so much. You.